In this video, we're going to learn about perimeter and area of a trapezium. Find the perimeter. This side is 6.3, this is 7, this is 9.6, but this one is not given. But if you look at the height over here, this height is the same as this side. So this side is also 5 cm. So the perimeter is equal to 27.9 cm. The perimeter of the trapezium is 43.7 mm. Find the value of x. Perimeter is equal to x plus 15.8 plus 12.6 plus 10. Now that we know the perimeter is 43.7 mm, we can substitute that value over here. And then we have to add these three numbers. So 43.7 is equal to x plus 38.4. This 38.4 is the sum of these three numbers. Now this is a simple linear equation. We need to solve for x. So if we take away 38.4 from both the sides, we will get the value of x. So x is equal to 43.7 minus 38.4 and that is equal to 5.3 millimeters. Let us find the formula for the area of a trapezium. Here we have a trapezium. Now I'm going to demonstrate how to find the formula for this trapezium. Let me make a copy of this trapezium over here and flip it vertically upside down and put them together. Now this side A has come down over here and this side B has gone up over here. This is entirely a new shape. Remember, we need to find the area of this trapezium. Okay? But now we have two of the same trapeziums put together to make a new shape. What do you think this shape is called? Well, it is a parallelogram. To find the area of a parallelogram, we use the formula base times height. Height is given by this perpendicular height over here. And then the base is the sum of A and B. So if you add A with B, you will get the base. Now, if the formula for this parallelogram is base times height, but then we are finding the area of this trapezium, which is exactly half of that parallelogram. So the formula for area of a trapezium is half times a plus b times the height where a and b are the parallel sides over here these two are parallel sides and height is the vertical height over here so you should remember this formula to find the area of a trapezium let us work out through some questions the front view of this flower pot is in the shape of a trapezium. Find its area. We know that the formula is half times a plus b times height. 15 is given over here. These two are a and b and height is 24. So all I have to do is substitute the values for a, b and h in the formula. That gives us half times 20 plus 15 times 24. Let us add this first. That gives us half times 35 times 24. Now we need to multiply all these three numbers. We can do it one at a time. So instead of multiplying half times 35, I'm going to take half times 24 because half times 35 will give me a decimal number. So I'm going to take half times 24. Half times 24 is 12. So 
I have 12 times 35. And when we, when we multiply 12 times 35, the answer is 420 squared centimeter. Okay. Let us have a look at another example. The figure is made up of two identical trapeziums. Find the area of the figure. So if the height of the shape is 6 cm, the height of one trapezium is going to be half of 6, that is 3 cm. Now that I know the height is 3 and the parallel sides are 8 and 4, I can use the formula to find the area of the trapezium. But over here, I have written 2. The reason being, if I use this formula, I will be finding the area of one trapezium. Since there are two of them, I need to multiply everything by 2. So that's why I have highlighted this 2 in yellow. So now let me substitute the values for A, B and H half times 4 plus 8 times 3. Let me add this 4 plus 8. That gives us 2 times half times 12 times 3. And then we can simplify this further. That gives us 1 times 12 times 3. Here what I have done is I have multiplied this first. 2 times by half is 1. Okay, 2 times half gives you 1. And then 12 and 3. And finally, 12 times by 3 will give you 36 squared centimeter. Now let's look at the last question. The area of a tile is 150 squared centimeter. Here we have the area 150 squared centimeter. Its height is 10 centimeter. Let's take the height, 10 centimeter, and the length of one of its parallel sides is 20 centimeter. Let's take this as 20 centimeter. Find the length of the other parallel side. So the other parallel side is just opposite to this side over here. And let us mark this side with a letter X in this case. Now, we know the formula for the area of a trapezium. Now let's begin to substitute the values that we know. Do we know the area? Yes, we do. It's 150 square centimeter. So let's plug it in over here. And then we also know the parallel sides A and B, that is X and 20. And then we know the height, that is 10. So when we substitute, this is what we get. 150 is equal to half times X plus 20 times 10. Now, I need to find what is x. So I need to divide both sides by half. Now, when I divide the right side by half, it will cancel away. So I will have only x plus 20 times 10. When I divide 150 by half, let me see. 150, I'm going to divide by half. Dividing by half, is the same as multiplying by its reciprocal. You know the reciprocal? So, it is going to be 150 times 2 over 1. That will give us 300. And then we have x plus 20 times 10 on the right side. Again, x plus 20 is multiplied by 10. So, we need to do the opposite of multiplication. That is division. Let us divide both sides by 10. So 300 divided by 10 gives us 30, which is equal to x plus 20. Now, we need to take away 20 from both sides. So x is equal to 30 minus 20, which is equal to 10 centimeter. So the length of the other parallel side is 10 centimeter. Thank you for watching this video.